There's a saying, don't sweat the small stuff, and it's all small stuff. And if you don't know what that means, well, it's basically from this book. And it's a book that talks about the problems that we have in life, things that happen along the way. And it's about learning to go with the flow instead of getting all et up about everything that happens. That is something that's been quite important today because something happened. I'll tell you what that is in a second, but I want to preface it by saying that as a child, my mum always wanted us to not waste food. And it's it was drummed into me as a child about leaving food. This morning, it was brought to me with a big bang because we walked into the garage, my wife and I, to look for something. And we noticed that our chest freezer was off. And on opening it up, we found that it had been off for a while. So it must have been off at least since yesterday. And so we had to face the task of throwing away all the food in our chest freezer. Now, I was not happy because that's not something I like to do. And Devs turned around and looked at me as usual and said to me, calm down, calm down. It's just food. Well, it was four and a half bucket type things of food because we had to take it all, cut everything off of it and throw it all away. So we've got this big empty freezer. Now I'm going on about, don't we? We've wasted all this food, it's all gone. And Pev said to me, just chill. It's just, just chill. And she was right because one of the teachings of that book was when things like that happen to you, ask yourself the question, is it going to matter in 12 months time? Well, the truth is, it's not, is it? It's, yeah, it's a bit of a shame that the food has been thrown away, but we just went out and bought a bit more this morning and put some back in there. And so it's not the end of the day, but it's funny how we allow ourselves to get taken over so quickly about things that sometimes aren't so important. Have you ever been on the road driving along in your car and someone pulls out in front of you? Well, I've been known to swear. I have. And um, it can wind me up for ages afterwards. I'll cuss and I'll moan about it for so long. But the truth of the matter is, it doesn't really matter, does it, at the end of the day? It may be that he had to get somewhere really quickly, there was an emergency, and he had to pull out in front of me. I don't know. I don't know what was going on in that car. But all of these kinds of things come to us at all sorts of times, don't they? And it's very easy to lose your temper about it and let it ruin your day. I know I've done it so many times. And I suppose the key of it is don't sweat the small stuff. Don't let the little things get you down. And I know we all do it. And it's something I'm working on. <laughs> I've got to be honest. I, I was really good at it for a while. And um, occasionally I'm not on my game. And so today was one of those days. But it's true. If you've um, had something like that happen to you, it's not the end of the world. It may be that you get held up. It may be that you're in a, in a shopping line, queuing, waiting to pay for your things. And the people in front of you are taking too long. And the person on the counter is chatting to the person. And they're having a gale time. And I'm in a rush. And, and you've got to just remember, just take a deep breath, go, is this going to matter in 12 months time? Nah. And carry on with your day. And if you think about that, there are so many occasions through the course of a day where something will happen and it will wind you up and you can let it take your day away. Coming back from the shop this morning, as I was walking down the thing with the things that we'd bought 
as I was walking through this little path, a man moved over to let me through. I said to him, thank you for that. And he just went, hmm, and carried on walking. And I was like, why is he so miserable? Well, perhaps someone needs to tell him about sweating the small stuff because obviously he wasn't in the greatest of moods either. But let me ask you a question. Do you suffer from that as badly as I do at times? And um, if you do sweat the small stuff, do us a favor, <laughs> comment down below, let me know what it is and will it, and we can laugh about how something so trivial can wind us all so up so much. I do it all the time. I don't know about you. Social media, I really, really should come from most of social media because when I read that, I just say, oh, idiots. <laughs> and it's, there is so much going on at the moment. The world is in some state. I, I don't remember it being like this at the minute, but there is all sorts going on. And when I look on my social media, the timeline is full of all this stuff going on. The truth be told, 99% of us can't do anything about that's going to stop it. And so we get wound up and we can ruin our day about it. When taking a deep breath again and then scrolling on by, or in fact, what's better is turning it off and going out and doing something else. You've got to sometimes realize what is really important. The food situation wasn't really important for us today. We got it cleared out of the way. But I suppose what I want to say is not sweating the small stuff. The stuff that life throws at you, it's not always massive stuff. It's little things that annoy you along the way. And if you can just think to yourself, it's not that important then you'll live your life much better. I know for a fact, one of the things that I used to do a long time ago was if I was in a conversation with someone and they said something wrong or got a fact wrong or something like that, I used to pick them up and say, no, that's wrong. It's this, 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 and this. And then we'd end up having a little bit of an argument which would spoil being together for that particular time. But what I've learned along the way, and thanks to that book to a certain extent, is at sometimes to go, it's not that important, and just let it go. And I'm sure a lot of people have had to do that with me in the past, because I'm not always the best at being right. <laughs> so I suppose what it is, is have a little humour. Try and find something a little bit funny about things. As I chucked the food away today i had this vision of my mum going you shouldn't be doing that don't waste good food but ah happy memories that so that's it for today really if you enjoyed the channel please like subscribe all those things that everybody else tells you there is a good reason for that it's because if you like the video and make a comment it helps with the algorithm, which helps the videos get seen by more people. Basically, that's it. I'll see you next time.